Canva is really easy to use, but for a beginner, it can feel overwhelming getting around the interface and making sense of the entire design process. This is why in this video, I want you to grab some popcorn, palm oil, no, use engine oil instead and get some pizza. <laughs> You're about to concoct the most productive design of the century, all right? In case you're just getting to meet me, I am Dyer Samuel, and I'm a professional designer with 20 years of experience. I started using Canva in 2020 when I was moving away from Corel Draw, Illustrator, and Photoshop. So what I'm going to be teaching you in this video is a beginner's guide for how to use Canva. There are two reasons why I love Canva. Number one is the fact that I do not have to pay heavy or necessarily have to install something. Of course, I'm using a desktop app right now, but you don't have to install in order to be able to use Canva. Second reason why I love Canva is because all my files and elements are in the same place. I'm not looking for images, then look for fonts, and then look for illustrations or inspiration to get started. I can literally access everything right inside Canva right here. Now, this video is broken into three parts. I'm going to cover introduction to Canva, why I feel Canva is important, especially in this time and age, and especially in 2023 going forward. Second, I'm going to cover applications of Canva, the different things that you can do with Canva. And then third, I'm going to cover essential features of Canva. Now, what are the things that you can do with Canva? From here, if you look at this flyer here, you can actually design something really cute this way. You can design all kinds of things using Canva. And I mean all kinds of flyers from flat looking flyers to 3D flyers to even flyers that you feel you want to make complicated and to flyers that you want to social media ads. You can design all of that using Canva. Canva. Moving from there, you can design wallpapers using Canva. And this is a desktop wallpaper that I did. In fact, if you look at the wallpaper of my screen right now, you can see right here, that's the wallpaper that I'm currently using and I designed it myself. You can actually design for prints. For example, this particular image here was actually designed and printed in my house. So I have this image right on the wall of my house right now. So you can design and then print out from Canva. And of course, you can create a letterhead in Canva. If you want to, there are a lot of templates that you can use. I'm going to talk about templates later on. Moving from there, you can also design banners. And this is a Facebook banner. You can actually design banners using Canva right here. You can see this design right here. And these are different images. All of them put together right here inside Canva. Going from that to the next application of Canva, you can actually create social media videos using Canva. And when I say social media videos, you can literally create all kinds of videos from rectangle video to a square video to a portrait video. You can create any type. Now, some of you may have heard of Bitcoin as a currency, as a system of... Still talking about social media. These are some other things that you can also create using Canva. You can see this here. These... And if you're a logo creator, you can actually create a logo using Canva as well. If you can create a report using Canva. Similarly, you can also create slides in Canva. And when I say slides, these are slides that have been created inside Canva. Go to this part of your screen here, click on share here, and you see present right here. So you can literally use this and then present your slide to anybody. If I click on present, you will see it's going to show present and then you're going to switch to a full screen. So you can design very complicated flyers using Canva as well. If you look at these, these are different flyers right here. And by the way, if you look up here, if I ungroup all of these, these are different elements all put together to form something. If you look at it, you will think it's just one image. It all comes down to you being able to apply your creativity. You can also design book covers using Canva. And you can see this is one here. It is a book cover right here. And this is another book cover right here. And if you want to, you can actually create visual graphics, visual infographics using Canva as well. Maybe this might be more familiar with you. Most of my YouTube thumbnails are done using Canva. And you can see how I've been able to put all of this together in different layers. This is one <coughs> thumbnail that I've been asked, how did I put that together? If you look at this here, you see that this is an image here. And you can see this is another one here. But I've put all of that together to make it look as though it is one a single picture. Now, having talked about that, I need to also mention here that you can work 
edit and post from your phone here's a full tutorial of me designing live using my phone all right now that i've gotten that out of the way how do you use canva for beginners this is what to do first of all this is home here where it takes you to is basically all the files all the different things that you can do inside canva you'll find them here if you want to get a quick start this is where to come to you come to for you here with docs what that means is you can actually create actual documents using canva particularly visual documents inside canva i'm going to cover that as i go on as well and you can also use whiteboards in canva perhaps if you are the kind of person who likes to do a lot of brainstorming you might be able to use whiteboards to help yourself of course i've talked about presentations social media videos now i need to talk about print productions this is also another thing you can create using canva you can create from t-shirts to mugs to business cards to literally anything that you can print for now canva may not be able to do everything you need to do for example large banners canva does not have the capacity to handle that for now but hopefully in the next couple of days months weeks they'll probably be able to do that you can also create websites in canva so you can create websites here you can create a website business website portfolio website event website education website even if you want to create a bio link where you just have maybe link in bio that you'll use on social media you can create that as well on canva and if you click on more here you You'll see a lot of other things that you can create infographics photo collage desktop wallpaper graph book covers mind maps you name it you can create all of that inside canva now how do you get started with canva for beginners start here come to your dashboard here and search for anything you want to do as soon as you click on this tab here this pops up what this means is that you can select templates or you can search your project you can type all projects that you've created that have the keyword found within the content or the title it will pop up here and you'll be able to see that all templates that have found as part of the keywords or part of the title you'll also find them here if you want to create a design come up here click on create a design and you can also select the size of design that you want to create from the drop down list if you can't find it on the drop down list simply type so for example if you type real it's going to load that for you and if you want to create a custom size you can simply click on this custom size here and enter a particular size that you like right here you can click on upload and upload works specifically for uploading documents so maybe you have pdfs that you want to upload into canva i need to mention to you here that you can actually upload an adobe illustrator file into canva let me show you how that is done hopefully i'll be able to find any .ai file on my laptop you're gonna see this is ai file here um let me see so i do not have any .ai file on my laptop that's because i left working with ai for a long time ago but let's say you want to import a so let me select this letterhead here and then let's click open what's going to happen is it's going to start importing your file right here and you can click v if you want to you will see it right here so if you click on it it's going to open the file directly for you to start working on so you can see this is the pdf imported right here now a couple of things changed here so if i come back here and change it to white and i select change everything it's going to change all the pages to white you can see everything is working fine right now so that's how pdfs actually work now if you're just getting started on canva one of the key places for you to get started is for you to build your design assets before you begin using canva in order to do that come to brand here and then choose brand templates if you want to you can actually create brand templates that you will use for your designs but the most important part that i want you to focus on will be what canva calls brand kit what it means basically is that you have your logos you have your brand colors you have your brand fonts all put up inside canva why is that essential majorly because you don't want to go into a design for example let's say i'm designing here i will need to look for this logo so if we can see right here that this logo is kind of bad here right now if i need that logo i'll now need to start uploading the logo in order for me to be able to use that but you can actually save yourself the headache by simply uploading your logo to this part here and then you get to see it under logos here so let's do that let me show you how that is done i'm just going to 
upload the logo here okay so let me say this is the logo that i want to upload here let me say this is the logo i want to upload here if i add it right here you can see that it's uploading here and if i open up a new file and i say okay i want to design a new file even if it's just regular instagram post the square instagram post if i need to use my logo all i need to do is click on logos right here you can see my logo will be here permanently and if I want more than one logo, I can literally add as many logos as I want. If you are on a pro account, you can add more than one logo. All right. That's the first thing. The second thing you want to do is you want to build your brand colors. Canva has already automatically fetched colors from this iFed logo. You can see iFed logo color. So you, if you just keep, you can see colors from iFed logo. Now, if I go into my design and I'm going to select the background, select color. And now you can see colors from iFed logos are now available here. So the next thing you want to do is you want to add your fonts, select the font. If you want to upload fonts, go ahead, you can upload fonts. But if you don't want to upload fonts, for example, this particular font here, this subhead in Avenia is a pro font that I uploaded to Canva because I use it for a particular brand. I need to mention here that what makes professional designs shine is how you are able to maintain consistency in terms of fonts, colors, similarity between assets that you use for your different designs. It was from here, this particular video that I started designing upward, so that I started designing using Canva. But if you look at from the beginning, even though I was not using Canva, I still maintained that design consistency. Why? Because I was able to build design assets first before actually jumping into designs basically that's how to simplify your life if you are just getting started using canva now getting into the design interface of canva this here this is where you find templates rather than call them templates when you are within a file canva calls them designs but when you are on the home page it calls them templates don't let that confuse you right these are all templates but when you are in a file when you're in a file here it calls it design but they are all templates the reason why they call them design is because on that design you can find templates as well as styles templates means these are different designs that you can use so for example if i click this this is a design that's a template if i click on styles here styles means combination of fonts and colors so if you select this here it's going to try and change everything in the design it's going to try and apply that design so you can shuffle you can shuffle you can shuffle colors from ifed logo the other time right now let's apply that here so you can shuffle 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 so you get what you're looking for and then for fonts you can select the fonts select the font keep shuffling keep shuffling keep shuffling till you get the fonts you're looking for on that design you have templates where you can select the templates you want to use so if you select this this is a carousel for example and i come back and i choose styles and i say okay i like this style this is the style i want to use and you begin to select your style okay let's say this is the style you like my recommendation will be for you to always store your styles so that you can always easily find them if this is not comfortable for you or if it's not still very okay you can come here and then manually change the colors to fit what you're looking for now i can use this this is a good design but for this here i can change it to any of the colors of the srm so maybe something like this moving on from there let's talk about the elements section this is where you get to see all the different things you can use to work within canva so you have lines and shapes you see graphics i need to mention here that whenever you're working and you see a crown or a pro beside an element if you don't have a pro account if you you can actually use it in your design the only thing is that it's going to put a watermark a canva watermark over that item when you're downloading it you can pay if you want to but rather than pay why don't you use the link in the description to get a 30 days free canva pro so check the link in the description for that now this is where you also search for things that you need to do your design so for example my, one of my last searches was cloud and you can add cloud to your design if that's what you're looking to do this is where you enter your keywords to find items to use for your design why did code come into my hand canva is intelligent enough to sometimes suggest other options to you if i click on this image here it's going to have something called magic recommendations magic recommendations means hey you have just used this item here are other files that look similar to what you have just used in case you need them so if you click on see all you will literally see other items that look like what you've just 
used that you can perhaps maybe switch to instead for me i like this better than this image so i'll use this instead canva has intelligently found something for me sometimes you can use this here these settings here to find exact color of what you're looking for so if you have a specific color in mind so for example i have a a one two three four i search that what's going to happen is it's going to go look for colors similar to that hex code for me if i click on this i'll most likely have that hex code you see similar color under here you can play with it you can see clear all you can remove all the filters that you use you can choose orientation square vertical horizontal you can choose whether you want to find an animated item whether it's going to be a static item or an animated element that you're going to find you can also filter by free or pro so if you use pro it means it's going to only show you pro items only i won't recommend you always use pro because sometimes free items look better than pro items sometimes now having covered that let's move on over to uploads uploads this is where you find every file you have ever uploaded into canva if you're new to canva this is where you will also upload your files into canva i must say here that there are two ways to actually upload in canva one of the ways is to come to your home page here and then simply upload your file and drop it into your file so if i click on that it's going to be uploaded as a file into canva and if you click on view it's going to show you the file you can see it's loading right now if i click on it it's going to try and play it for me the second way for you to upload will be to come to upload files here and then select your file so let's say i click on this it's going to start uploading your file here and you can see this is your file right here you can upload images you can upload videos you can upload audios that's the second way for you to upload now having done that let's move over to the next part which is text for this text what you can do here is where you select the kind of text you want to add to your design if you've already pre-built your assets this is where you'll find all your fonts so if you click on this this is your adding font this is the sub adding font and this is the body text and your text and if you want to use pre-made or pre-designed templated fonts you can also click on those here as well you can see this is a font this is the name of the font right here of course these are all different font styles that you can use they are pre-made to make life easy for you but if that is not what your brand font looks like you can select a font come over here and then from the gazillion fonts in canva font library you can select any of them that you like one of the fonts that i like to use sometimes is called monument so you see this right here now i'm going to pause there second thing that I would like to mention to you is organizing your designs with folders folders help you categorize your file so you don't have to have a messy home page whenever you open canva as a designer myself i sometimes get lost in the sea of files whenever you open your home page it's very easy for you to get lost in the sea of files here a way to avoid that overwhelm would be for you to come to projects and then click on folders and you literally can see all the important folders for you to work from so for example design resources if i click on design resources you will see all the different things i have inside design resources if i click on folders again and i choose illustrations you will see all the different illustrations that are inside canva that i have kind of maybe added to if you want to put your files in folder a way to do that will be to click on this here move to folder select your projects and then if you don't have a folder create a new folder here and then move them to a folder i'm going to move this to a folder right now move this to a folder choose my folder and i say templates for sale and then i'm going to click move to folder design has been moved projects for projects the same way i showed you projects here earlier on it's the same way it works inside your folders here so right inside your folders here you can select your projects shared with you or you can select all projects that means you'll see everything but what i often do is i leave it on your projects most times you'll most likely find it on your projects and this is where you can access all the different folders it's going to open it for you and if you like you can literally just drop that page onto your design that's why i said one of the best ways to use canva is to actually build your design asset organize your files into folders because that way whenever you're designing you are not starting from scratch every single time if you click on this page here and i say oh okay i need to use the logo and this logo is not something you've uploaded you can simply click on this and you can add the logo here simply select all of this group it together bring it down and continue your design and your logo is still intact if you want to you can even change the color of your logo if you want to <laughs> that's how i use canva myself let's talk about photos 
on the photos here you have the photo library again just as with elements you use keywords to find what you're looking for and of course you can also filter the difference here is that you can use cutouts only what cutouts means is that it only shows you images with transparent background so it's not going to show you any image that has a background so if i select this right now you see apply this filter you see all the images so you are not going to be spending your time trying to remove the background the background is already removed now let's move over to audio audio is where you can search for the kind of music you want to use specifically when you're editing a video so if you click on this here that's the soundtrack but in order to add it to the video or to the file you're working on because sometimes it may not be a video but of course it's a video that you're going to be using an audio isn't it what you do is if you click this it plays the audio but if you want to add it to your file to the project you're working on you will click this part to add it so it's simply added it here now if you click on this part adds that now for start here what start means is let's say you're searching through design here and you're under templates and you find something that catches your eyes maybe this captures your attention i like this a little what you can do is you can select star here what you have just done is you have simply added it to a place where you can easily find it whenever you're working on another project next time so you can see your start files here you can also add the start folder to your sidebar so that anytime you're working you can easily find them so see this font this is a font style that i like i simply start it so that i can find similar fonts like it anytime i need to use that i add it to my and i click on this and i choose gradient number and it's going to go fetch more like it so it's a fast way for you to walk through canva my recommendation will be for you to actually just as i said build out your design assets and part of the building your design assets is as you are working within canva whenever you find anything just start them you can see my folder here you can see i've started quite a number of things since i started using canva now if you don't want to see all of these things here you can actually close them out so you can click on that this logo here i can close it out this start i can close them out you only have only fundamental Fundamentals like this. So you can close out this photo, you can close out all this audio. So you only have all these fundamentals here. Sometimes I like to clean up my interface so that I have limited stuff. Let's click on apps. Under apps here, you find a whole lot of other resources that Canva has built within it that you can use. For example, some of the things that we just closed to now, photos, audios, videos, backgrounds, charts, logos, bulk create. So if you click on background, for example, what it's going to do is going to start looking for backgrounds for you that you can use in your design. So if you click on that, it's going to simply fill it up as a background for you so rather than you trying to drag and place on your on your design it's already made into a background it simply just applies it for you and once you're done you can simply close that out and move on to something else so by the way if you're using any of them so if i click on text to image right now you see it's a use if you're using it for the first time or maybe for the first time within that file it's going to tell you to use that so if you click on here so if i type nft and i press enter and i click generate image i'm beginning to use that app but i don't need it right now so let me quit that and let's go to something else so this is where to also generate qr code if you want to generate qr code you can simply paste your link your url that you want to generate and click customize your qr code the way you like it and then click on generate qr code by the way this is what i have been using for most of my qr codes once you're done using that you can close it out and you can search through all canva apps right here if you want to see the array of canva apps my recommendation would be not to go through this place but to come back to your home page and click on discover apps from here you can see dozens of apps these are the default apps that you will see but if you want to see a lot of all the other apps that canva has come under all these different sections you can see all these different ones here design essentials you can see this photo editing face retouch liquify these are all advanced stuff that we do in photoshop illustrator corel paint for example share and publish these are different places where you can share your files to where you can publish your files to so if you want to turn it into a book a book that will be doing every time they open it it's called flipping book or asian flip books now the next thing i also want to show you here is what is called mockups where you can come inside canva to create mockups mockups are basically realistic almost real life example of what you have designed let me show you what i mean when i designed 
so let me type n i u k so where's n i u k let me see so when i originally designed this logo when i originally designed this logo see what i did here i did all of these right inside canva i didn't do it outside of canva and then bring it back inside canva this right here was also done inside canva it is basically called smart mockup now how do you use that very simple come to smart mockup and search here if you are looking for so maybe smartphone and you're going to see all kind of smartphones so if you are a designer for example maybe you are a ux designer or a ui designer or maybe you are even a web designer you can use all of these mockups to your advantage by simply selecting one of them and then customizing the design that you find there oh you may think oh so how do i do that how do i do that how do i do that let me show you how to do that let me select this one once you click on that it's going to tell you let's get started select an image you're designed to use if you select it's going to say which image do you want to use and the particular image i want to use is currently a design so let me look for a design that i can use let's say i want to use this family motion select that can you see it's placed it but it's not fitting so you can select adjust image and you can adjust your image here feel stretch or you choose your custom but i'm going to choose feel and then i'm going to adjust it so if you click on save you can see that i don't like how it looks and that's where custom comes in so right now i'm currently making it into a custom file so you can stretch it and by the way you can stretch from the sides as well so you don't have to necessarily stretch from only the middle and stretch from the side my recommendation is if you are going to be doing something like this always make sure you create your file before you start that so once you are done click on save mockup and you see your mockup will be saved as an image that you can either use in a design or you can download if you click using a design it's going to ask you what kind of file do you want to use it so if you want to use it and let's say i want to use it on an instagram post square i'm going to select instagram post square it's going to only transfer that file into your design and if you remember up earlier on that i mentioned background i select background and i say okay this background can you see so i've simply just created all of this design right here without spending more than five minutes doing that you can see why canva is a really really big advantage for you as a designer and why i had to move from photoshop illustrator and corel draw and move over to canva can you see why let me show you another way to use mockups in canva so let's say you've finished your design here one thing you can do is you can actually select your design here click on edit image and you can scroll down 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 and you will see smart mockups here or you will see frames here now depending on what you want to do for this purpose i'm going to be using smart mockups so i'm going to click on smart mockups and you can see if i select this here it's going to add the logo to the shirt of the guy you can see right there but i'm going to use one that is easy for me to see i'm going to use this one right here I'm going to enlarge that and I'm going to select this here and I'm going to choose custom. Now, this is what I was referring to when I said custom horizontal position, horizontal position, and then I'm going to bring down the size. You can see the size. You can see the size right here. Now, vertical position, vertical position, vertical position, horizontal position. Move a little bit to the center and then for the object color you can change the cloth here that okay you want to use blue or you want to use a yellow or that you want to use a red you can see i'm literally changing all the colors to what i want here i want to use blue i want to use a purple i want to use a white i want to use a black you can literally change all of that from here this is where to do all of that for this purpose i'm going to change it to a yellow so that it's visible and once you're done you can click on apply and you have your mock-up right here once you have your mockup you can select edit image and if you want to you can simply click on background remover and remove your background so all right so now i've removed the background and i click apply and you can see i can simply crop this crop this and here we have this beautiful lady on my newly designed logo <laughs> you can see how it works that's how canva mockups work when you're working within a file i will send you to jesus next up let's talk about working with templates and margins first thing i want you to understand is that margins in a design help you keep the most important things in the center point away from the edges of your design so rather than have your design i'm just splitting flying away everywhere so for example for this design this design looks great right now but if i move everything like this if i move it this way this design is already touching the edge of this screen and this this side is not touching 
this side is not touching this one is already touching it looks a little bit unbalanced for some people they will think that oh, that's what i want that's what i want but design wise it's unorganized so one key way to organize a design is to do something we call margin and how does margin work especially in canva it's very simple come to file under file click on view settings and then click show margins you can see that this has disappeared and if i turn it back on and i choose show margins you can see everything here is showing let me show you an exact design that followed that rule so let's say this is this thumbnail right here if i zoom in on this thumbnail you can see as much as this thumbnail has a lot of things going on you can see that the entire design is still kept within the border the key most important factors are kept within the border same thing with this one here same thing with this here and same with these same with these as well you can see even though this looks like it wants to jump out it still retains that margin the reason why you use margin in your design is because you are keeping things in the center for people to see them now imagine if i moved this to the side of this page it doesn't look bad you know it doesn't look bad but where you will probably notice it is when you zoom out like this that's where you now begin to notice it looks like that it's about to jump off the page in comparison to it being in the center of the page like this do you now understand why margin is important moving on let's talk about how to work with canva docs now canva docs is very new to canva so let me show you a little bit of what you can do with canva docs so what canva allows you to do is to create visual documents and if you look at here this plus here allows you to add anything you want to add to your design here i'm going to click this plus here and i'm going to choose let's say i'm going to choose to add a design that i have it's going to pop up that and it's going to tell me let me say this is the design i want to use let's say this is the design i want to add here this is going to be a header i click save and you can see that is added to that page as a design so if i select here and i view show page layout you can see it's showing page layout and if i turn off page layout it's standard off in my observation what i noticed is that canva has automatically added a margin for you so that you, whatever it is you're working on does not go beyond the margin and you can have your file as long as possible now you'll notice that these are actually created just now so edit design right here if i want to make it a little bit more custom i can select text and say audacity to lead i can literally just say okay that's what i want to use here and i'm going to add this here and i click save and you can see it's added to the file second thing that you can do with canva is what is called magic right if you click on this plus here and you select this magic right it says introducing magic right is ai powered writing assistant in canva so let's try it out now let's say for this and i'm going to say generate an outline for a beginner's guide to using canva and then to confirm you simply press enter and you're going to see it generate content for you. So you can see right here, right now. So you want to use your custom font. Where's my custom font? Osword. And I want to make it a lot more interesting. You can use forward slash and click magic right. Um, generate content for introduction Canva. And you can see, hi there, welcome to Canva. Canva is an online platform. You can see right there and then, so you can literally use this to create content for Canva. Now, how to embed designs in your document? Let me show you how I have done that in the past. If you click on this plus here and you choose embed here you can search for let's thumbnail you see i'm searching for thumbnail right now it's going to try and pull out my designs that have thumbnail okay so it says the link is not working so it's not that's not working let's copy this design here so let's copy this design and say copy link and then you come back here and then you paste that design and you press enter so you see the design from the other page, the design from this page here is now embedded within my Canva doc right here. And you can interact with it still and move it from page to page. You can add emojis as well. In order to add emojis, you click on this plus again and then you scroll down and you add emoji this one right here. This right here is emotional damage emotional damn it and if you want to you can convert your file to a presentation and all you just simply need to do is click on get started and it's going to start turning in your entire document 
into a presentation for you. So all you need to do is using your design, using your brand or using a default, it's going to create 28 pages of confirm my presentation, create my presentation right here, generate an outline for your beginner's guide, a warm welcome to Canva Docs. You can see we're very excited to have you and it creates, you can see the design we generated originally, you can see what it looks like now. Now let's talk about how to work with templates, especially presentation templates. Now. I like a design. So for this, I'm going to look for a design. You can search for layout. So when you search for layout, if you like a particular type of layout, you can change your current design into that layout. So if you like this design, it says add templates as a new page or replace current page. You can see I've literally changed the layout for that page. Now for styles, you can also come to your page and change all the colors, change all of this to fit your style. Now, another thing that I would like to mention to you is the fact that you can come to templates. Let's say this brand guideline is what you like. If you click on this plus, it's going to ask you, do you want to replace current page add as a new page is going to add it as a new page while this is here you can see how that works right moving on from there let's talk about how to work in with videos in order to create a video file you simply come to videos here and you can choose video any video format you like whether it's a straight video whether it's a um, square video whatever it is you like to do I'm going to choose any of the templates in order for me to quickly finish what i'm doing here so i prefer this instead so i'm going to replace current page with that let's see what does this page look like let me so you can see that's basically just pictures being animated now how do you find images to use how do you find videos to use the same way you look inside the elements so for this i'm going to type dog and i'm going to under here you can choose graphics photos videos so i'm going to choose video and i'm going to look for the video of a dog for this i like this i'm going to add this here and you can see now i have my design a little bit more custom and i can i don't like this here you can simply delete that or look for the keyword what's the keyword they've used cut out leaves plant so i'm going to look for plant i'm going to delete this one i'm going to look for plant and i'm going to add this one instead i'm going to add this one here and you can see now if i click on this video if i click on play i see it looks a little more interesting and you can customize as much as you want inside canva you can also remove the background of a video so for example let me look for a video here so let me type running this is a video i need a video of someone running okay so i like this video now for this video i'm going to duplicate this video and i'm going to edit this video the first thing you want to do is click on background remover and it's going to remove the background of that video for you now the background has been removed you can see this background right here i'm going to place it on top of each other now let's see what's going to happen so let's play that <laughs> see the kind of effect i'm creating just by placing them on top of each other so if i want to i can select this adjust beta this is where you find filters for your video so you can add filters to your video you can change the filters you can make them intensive as you like or if you want you can create all those glitchy stuff it all depends on you and you can adjust all these different elements here so you can adjust the brightness the color the contrast the shadow you can adjust all of that here let me play the video and let's see what it looks like now so it looks like i'm creating some effects right now right there's a tool i need to introduce to you in canva and this is canva assistant this tiny tool right here is this question mark this tiny question mark here that you see inside canva can actually go a long way at some point of the design process you're going to have a question or you cannot remember how to do something you can simply click on this question mark here let's say remove video background is what you forgot you can simply type it in you can say remove video background and you can literally see it here it's going to say if you're on mobile this is what to do if you're on desktop click if you're on a computer click on the image you want to edit and then to click edit image wait for the background to be processed uh, using eraser and brushes and it's literally going to tell you what you can do you see you can remove the background of up to 500 images every 24 hours and for video at the moment you can only remove background on videos with an original length that's less than 90 seconds one minute 30 seconds if you trim the video in cover you need to download and re-upload it to use this feature on mobile you must also upload via the upload tab not the camera roll or gallery and you're done and you move on to the next thing you want to do that's how the canva assistant works i'm not sure a lot of people use it but it's a valuable tool that you will need as a beginner next up let's talk about whiteboards now a whiteboard are usually used by teams or individuals who want to brainstorm or run design sprints for me particularly i use whiteboard especially canva whiteboard for both purposes you can use whiteboard to create documents so for example this is aisha this is tamara this is jane 
this is Dumebi. You can <laughs> and you can literally so add the date. This is the date of this is January 0123. And yesterday's accomplishment, you list yesterday's accomplishment, and everybody do that. And this is where you can also add timer. So if you want to add timer, you can add multiple time. And if you want to, you can mute it. And if I take it down to let's say um, 01 and I say one minute, I can run in one minute. Let's quickly do that. I'm going to change that time to 00. And I'm going to change this to 10 seconds. I'm going to change this to 10 seconds so that you can see what happens. So now you can see as the time rolls to an end, you begin to hear a sound that tells you start getting ready to finish, start getting ready to finish, start getting ready to finish. And it is with that sound, everybody is done. So for example, let's say you want to brainstorm, you want you are reading a book, for example, you are reading a book and you need to um, create a mind map. This is also a way to do that. So you can type mind map here. And you can see, you can literally create all kinds of mind maps here. So you can create a book. So for example, I'm currently reading a book. And in the book, the mind map I'm creating called this freedom. And let's say this is the first one. Constrained. Actually, that's not from the book I'm reading. I'm just pulling that out of my notes. If I'm going to use the one in my book, somebody will get offended. And I say unlimited so this is freedom this is constraint freedom and this is unlimited freedom and from here i can go a little bit further and type anything i want and i say okay i want to go a little bit further this way and type and from here you can also go up and say okay i want to type anything you can see it's cre it's establishing the connections for you without you necessarily needing to have to type and do all kind of things before you can use all of that so you can delete if you don't want you can delete all of the parts that you don't want and you can see right here this is this going this way if i say okay i missed something let me stretch this a little bit and i say idea you can see how mind mapping works inside canva next up since i'm already talking about canva whiteboards you can actually collaborate with someone on a design in canva a way to do that will be one you can come here and type someone's email so for example if you want to send an email to somebody say let's say someone's email at whatever dot nl you can simply send that person add an image if you want you can give the person the permission to edit to comment to view and that will send to the person especially if the person has a canva account if the person doesn't have a canva account they would have to create a canva account in order to be able to edit now if you select the request invite for someone at that email if you select this what's going to happen is it's going to try and add this person to your team rather than the fact that you have just shared the file with the person to edit and if you don't want the person to edit you can simply make it make the person comment or make the person to view the person will only have a view only access comment only access and this will give the person edit access now you can simply also rather than do that you can close that and simply share this here Let's say you don't have the email of the person. You can simply say only you can access. You can change it from this. You see only your team can access and anyone with the link can access. So anyone with the link can view, can edit, can comment. So you can change it to anyone with the link can view, anyone with the link can comment, anyone with the link can edit. If you want to actually share your Canva file as a template with the public so that anybody who has a Canva account can actually download it, a way to do that will be to click. You don't need to adjust anything here. All you just need to do is just click on template link and it says your design is empty. Anyone with the link can can use this design as a template sign is, is required so they only need to sign in but you won't know who has made copies of this design and you simply copy this link and anybody who has the link will be able to use your design as a template still talking about that what you can also do again is once you finish designing something you can actually turn it into a brand template right here by clicking this brand template and when you say turn frequently use design into reusable templates what you can simply do is you can add it to any folder here and it simply becomes a template that you can reuse at any time you like that way once you add it to your folder you click publish anybody who has access to that folder directly be able to see that file another thing that i must also mention here is that you can also create a view only link view only link means that the person can only view just as you did here that's what's going to generate now for download this is where you download your file you come to share here and then you select this download and you can open up your download you can see this is a whiteboard so it's not allowing me to download let me move over to this here and if i select this share here and click on this you can see i can download as any kind of file that 
I want. So you can download as MP4, download as PDF, download as PDF for print. And if you want to, you can share on social. What that means is you can connect any of your accounts from your Facebook to your Twitter to your Instagram. You can connect them to your Canva and it will post directly there. You can also schedule your, uh, your post. So if you schedule here and you select the time you want it, you can select the channel that you want to post to and it's going to automatically post on your behalf for you as at when due. You can also print your design. So you can print your design as posters, just as I told you, posters, landscape. You can post as notebooks. You can print them out as sweatshirts. You can print all of these. Now, the way this print out work is that when you click on print, you kind of give permission to Canva to kind of do the processing for you. And then Canva helps you make that into a printable material. Then you pay Canva and Canva prints it, send it to you. That's how that works. So let me give you a task as I wrap up this video so that I can know that you actually learned from this video. Select any file type, whether it's going to be whiteboard, whether it's going to be Canva Docs, whether it's going to be a presentation, a social media, a video, or maybe a print product, or maybe it's even going to be a website. Design something and then share it with me in the comments and I'm going to take a look at them. I'm going to give you feedback where you can improve. Is that something interesting to you? Design something right now in order to post the link for me to be able to see what you may need to do will be open the design up so whether it's a video whether it's an image just come to click on share and change the access to anyone with the link then change it to maybe can comment so that i can actually open it and if you want me to edit and make improvements to your design you can simply change it to can edit and copy the link and then paste in the description below for me to see i'll be happy to take a look at your picture and that'll be an opportunity for you to learn as well with that said i am dyer samuel and you've been watching audacity to lead where i give you the courage and the necessary insights you need to lead your life and your business in the direction that matters most to you if this video has helped you thus far give this video a like you can as well subscribe thank you very much i'll see you in the next video that you can see on my screen right here